Hey y'all. It's spooky season! Hello, hello everyone. My name is Laura. This is my channel, Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video, which is all about the Spooky Scary Skeletons Readathon. <laughs> So the Spooky Scary Skeletons Readathon is a huge readathon over the entire month of October and it is hosted by Nicole over at Nicole's Bookish Nook and I am so excited for this year's readathon and there are going to be a ton of co-hosts so we are all going to be announcing this very soon and it's just super exciting. So I'm just going to go over some of the guidelines and the prompts and all the little things like that. But I will also have Nicole's video linked down below in her account so you can follow her there as well. So let's get into the readathon. Yeah. So as I said, this is a spooky themed readathon that takes place over the entire month of October. So there are plenty of time to complete the eight prompts. But some of the things to know before getting into it is that you don't actually have to read eight books. You don't have to limit yourself to one book per one prompt. You can double up on prompts. You can skip prompts if you're not finding a book that interests you. Like, it's it's a very relaxed readathon, which is great because there are so many wonderful readathons in October. So the fact that this one is not super high pressure is beautiful. And because it's so relaxed, it's not a competition. Like, there are no prizes to be won or teams to pull ahead of others. It's just all in good fun and good spirit, so it's not a competition aspect. You are allowed to DNF books. If you start a book that you're so excited for and it fits one of the prompts just perfectly and then you end up hating it, like, you can DNF it. You do not have to finish that book if you do not like it or if it's not good for you. Don't worry about it. Not a problem. You can DNF and move on to the next prompt. A lot of the community for this readathon is going to be mostly in the comments of Nicole's videos, so there's not going to be an official social media like Discord, Instagram, Facebook, nothing like that. So if anything creeps up on you, like, it's not a thing. But we will all be chatting in Nicole's videos because she'll have lots of videos going up over October with this readathon, so we can all go and chat and just have little community moments there so excited. And with these prompts, you do not have to read them in any specific order. You can skip around, read them whenever you want, you know, within the month of October, um, because you can also double up and you can skip and things like that. So makes sense that you don't have to do prompt number one first. It's just number one because it's the first one I'm going to say. You don't have to read it first. Let's get into the prompts now, shall we? The first prompt is to read a classic horror book. Classic horror meaning something that's 30 years or older. Something that's been around a while. Number two, read a book with a serial killer. And this can be a fiction or a non-fiction book. It can be literally any book that is about a serial killer. Number three, read a book with an orange in the cover or in the title. Yeah, it could be called something orange like Priory of the Orange Tree or it can just have orange on the cover like the literal color. Number four is to read a book with ghouls or ghosts. Number five is to read a book where the main character is a witch. Number six is to read a book that is set during the month of October or during or around Halloween or about Halloween, something like very specific to the time. Number seven is to read a thriller book by an author you have never heard of, so like a new to you author. Um, so that you can explore and try different thriller spooky books. And finally, number eight, the final prompt is to read a book with a black cover. And again, if you find a book that has like a black and orange cover or it's a black cover with orange in the title, it counts for both prompts. Woohoo! Those are all the prompts. I will have all of this down in the description to check out. And then again, I will have Nicole's video linked in the description below so you can watch her video as well. I am super excited for this video and stay tuned because I will be releasing a TBR video for it in the next coming weeks. Uh, pretty soon, I am gonna get it up before the end of September. So definitely stay tuned for my TBR video and watch Nicole and her TBR video that will go up a little bit later as well. And yeah, and the best way to do that is to click the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when these videos do go up and also subscribe to Nicole's channel because, you know, She's really cool. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I have bookish social media for my channel and my reading journey. 
down below so you can go ahead and follow me there. Leave a comment letting me know if you are going to be participating in this readathon. You can either type I'm participating or put a spooky emoji in the comments and that'll let me know that you're going to participate in this readathon and I will hopefully see you all in the comments of the videos going forward for this readathon. Again, super excited. It is spooky season. Let's go. So until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy spooky reading.